Today I'm gonna show you two super fun sublimation projects you're gonna wanna make this holiday season. Let's go. Today I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can make one of those bleached flannels. So have you guys ever seen where people will bleach out the back side of the flannel and they'll put the really cool design. So for example, like this, they'll have it on the back side. The bottom is bleached, some of the arms, and then around that design. So what you can do, this is 100% cotton here. You can actually take something like this little spray here I have on Amazon, I'll have it linked below. You could spray the area that you're gonna go down and then you can sublimate it. And what's really cool is I'm using an eight and a half by 11 to accomplish this, but you could definitely do like an 11 by 17 and really get a nice big chunky design. Now there's a few other things. You could definitely do our DTF hack, where we used uh, direct to film powder with a special film and you could definitely do that as well or you could do something with your inkjet printer like the new caesar um, dtv so you can use your um, inkjet printer like i said so lots and lots of different options out there but today i'm going to show you guys to accomplish this so we don't have to try to bleach this out or anything here i'm actually going to be using glitter htv so i'm going to show you guys how to sublimate on top of glitter HTV using your Cricut Easy Press. So that way I don't have to bleach this area out or use any other special materials or sprays or anything because this is cotton. And then we're gonna continue to go ahead and bleach it. So you could bleach it first if you wanted to, but I'm gonna do it after the fact. So. Like I said, what we're using here is some glitter HTV, and then I've already printed this out by an eight and a half by 11. So the trick to this is, whenever we go to sublimate on that glitter, you're going to be putting this in this direction and you're gonna be pressing, right? So whenever we go to cut this out, I'm actually gonna put it on the back side of this, flip it over, and then we're gonna cut. So what I wanna do is create myself like an offset. You could definitely use the print and cut feature with your Cricut or your Silhouette um, to create that little bit of an offset. Now the reason why I'm wanting that offset is so that way it looks like I've bleached the outside um, little brim all the way around it. And I actually have it. So it's almost like a little bit of a bleach hack there. So I'm just gonna make sure I have these nice and lined up. You could definitely tape them off if you need to. I'm just gonna have a grip of them. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create an offset all the way around. All right, and just like that, we have that perfect offset. So whenever we remove these, I have my glitter HTV and then my design. So now when I come on top, so you see we did it on the back side where the adhesive is, and we did it in this direction. So whenever I go to press it, it's gonna come back in the front and everything is gonna line up absolutely perfect. So now let's go ahead and prep our flannel. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this flannel right here. You could find these usually at the Goodwill, um, at yard sales and things like that. So it just makes the perfect flannels to do these projects with, unless you wanna go dig through your husband's closet or maybe your friend or something like that. I actually went through my daughter's closet and found this one right here. I don't think she'll notice it missing. She has quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here on top of my pressing pillow. And so I'm just gonna figure out about where I want this to go. And then I'm gonna do just as usual, plot any sort of moisture and just smooth everything down. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and take that uh, Cricut Easy Press. You could definitely do this with your bigger heat press as well, but I'm just showing you that you can accomplish this the same way with your Cricut Easy Press. So I'm actually gonna press this in two different presses whenever I get it down. So I've got it at 385 for 40 seconds because that's what we are going to be sublimating at. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, you can see I've still got some wrinkles in here, and so I may just go ahead and get that out. I'm trying to be mindful for this center one here, so make sure if you have something like this, I definitely wanna press on top of it because I don't want it to pull later because this crease is supposed to be here, so definitely keep that in mind as well. Now, once again, before you commit, make sure that you have this in the correct direction because if I accidentally put this upside down, it's not going to match up later. So I'm gonna go ahead and double check myself one more time. It looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out my placement. So I think I want it on the back somewhere right about here. And so what we're gonna do is, um, you could take this down if you need to. I think everything's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one side and then the other. I just need about a two to five second tack down because we're gonna be pressing this officially with the sublimation. So just around two to five seconds on each side. 
Now, depending on what brand you're using, for example, I'm using Caesar, so I should be able to peel this around the warm. If you're using Cricut, you may need to wait until it's completely cooled down. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that carrier sheet. All right, so once again, we're gonna make sure that our sublimation print is in the correct direction. And so now what we're gonna do, make sure it's completely cooled down. We don't wanna start that sublimation process too early. Make sure those line up 100%. I'm gonna take two pieces of heat tape and help hold this down. Now we wanna make sure we put down a piece of parchment paper to protect our Cricut Easy Press. I'm going to press one side and then the other. So we're gonna go ahead and hit go 385 for 40 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift this guy up, remove our parchment, and now we're gonna peel. And look at how amazing that came out, so cool. Now the really cool thing about sublimating on top of Glitter HTV is it's gonna have that really fun sparkle. I'm gonna bring this up so hopefully you guys can see that really cool glitter. You can especially see it on that green on the cup. It is gorgeous. Now you can definitely just leave it like this or you can go a step further and we can add some bleach. So you could definitely just do some bleach splatters if you wanted to. You could dip just the bottom part of this or the bottom and the sleeves. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip the bottom and the sleeves. All right, to prep this up for the bleach, I've just got a little tin pan here. You can actually see some black down there. That's from where I've done some tie-dye a while back. I'm not too concerned about it. It would definitely rinse out, but this is kind of some blacks and whites, so I'm not concerned at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some straight bleach here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it down here in the bottom. You could do, use whatever you want to, um, whatever kind of bowl that you may have to do this. We just need to go ahead and soak this down in there. All right, so I did actually go and add just a little bit of water in here to kind of help it absorb up into the t-shirt, but you could definitely do straight bleach as well. Now you may want to do this outside in a well ventilated area. And then I have a box actually down here on the ground. So once I'm done kind of doing this, I've got some gloves to be safe. I'm going to wring it out and then I'm going to set it on this box just until I can get it inside in the wash. So you really want to take this out in the sun, let the sun do its job. So once you do this, once again, I would do it outside. Um, you're gonna set it outside, let the sun do its job for around 10 minutes or so, and then you're gonna throw it into the wash. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take a sleeve and I'm just gonna get it down as far as I'm wanting. So just kind of soaking this up, letting it get some of that stuff on there, like so. And I'm letting it naturally just kind of absorb up into the t-shirt, all right? And then very carefully, I'm gonna go ahead and wring out the excess. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same process to this side. So hopefully you guys can already see that process happening. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch and get the bottom of my shirt. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dip in the bottom half of my t-shirt. You can go up as high or as low as you want to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this guy soaked. So I may kind of wring it a couple times and then re-dip it just to make sure that it's completely saturated. So as you guys can see, I've got my sleeves and the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside and we'll be right back. Look at how amazing this came out. So stinking cool and absolutely perfect for the holiday season. You could even do these for different holidays if you wanted to. Lots and lots of different options, but I really love the way that this one came out. All right, so for project number two, we are going to be creating a sticker tumbler. So there is some really fun Christmas stickers and there's a few different ways that you guys can actually bring those into your computer or whatever software you're using. So for example, I brought this into Canva. So you can bring them individual. So we have them to where they're individual stickers or they're sticker sheets like this. So what I did was I brought in one of the sticker sheets over to Canva and I sized it to what I needed for my tumbler. Now, if you wanted these to be in different positions, positions and turned and all of that stuff, you could definitely bring in the individual ones, size them up, size them down, and have all sorts of different ones because there's super cute stuff with cupcakes, there's elves, all sorts of fun stuff that you could actually do all kinds of different ones. And what this is creating, do you guys remember whenever you would stick stickers all over a hydro flask? It's technically the same thing, except for you can actually throw this into the dishwasher. So like I said, I just took our sticker sheet, sized it out what I needed, and we are ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure that my tumbler is nice and clean. I'm using my tumbler press here, 365 for 70 seconds. 
Now the really cool thing about this one is it's not a full page bleed, so I don't have to worry about where it's lining up. It's gonna just look flawlessly. So I went ahead and cut off a little bit more because I wanna make sure whenever these go, I don't have anything overlapping. So now I may take even a little bit more off of this side as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and center this guy up just like this. And what's nice about it too, is I don't have to worry about it being super duper straight or anything like that. We just wanna make sure we get it nice and taped down. So I'm gonna pull it nice and tight still. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our first piece of tape. All right, so our press is up to temperature. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and load this. I'm gonna load mine in sideways just like so. So this is not the traditional tumbler, so I didn't need to make sure everything was super duper straight with my tape and everything. I just wanna make sure it was nice and tight on there and we're good to go. So we're gonna press this for 70 seconds. And then once that 70 seconds is done, we're gonna rotate it and press it one more time. All right, so now that we've got that first beep, we're gonna go ahead and flip it and rotate it. And then we're gonna press it again. Now I can tell that I have my press a little bit too tight, so I could, I could actually come back a little bit because you definitely should not have to um, force it closed. It should really wanna shut. The way that I test to make sure that I'm good to go is you can start to tug on your tumbler. If it pulls out, you need a little bit more pressure. And if you can't pull it out, you're good to go. All right, so we've got our final beep here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out of here. And then I'm gonna set it down, make sure I don't grab it with my other hand. And super duper safe. Now I have granite countertops, so I'm able to sit mine on top of my granite, but definitely make sure that you're putting this on a safe area. Like for example, if you have a Cricut pad, that would work as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. How stinking cool is this? I really love the way that this came out. I think it's going to be perfect for those drinks this holiday season. And there you guys have it. Two really fun projects that you guys can do with sublimation this holiday season. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.